Hey, what's up? My name is Tackless, and today I'm playing a game called Reagan Gorbachev, if I'm saying that correctly. This game is awful. I'm just, I'm having to record it to keep myself under control because of how just rage-inducing this game is becoming for me. I've been playing this one level for, no, 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 this one room for about 10 minutes now, and it's just... It's so poorly designed and poorly executed for one person to play that I die 90% of the time before I can even advance and then after that it's just pretty much the premise of the game. It's supposed to be like a top-down action game, it performs more like a top-down puzzle game and the puzzles are terrible and the controls are meh and it's not designed for two people and it's not designed for one person and it's just mm, I'm pretty, pretty angry with this game right now so I figured you guys might as well see some of the fun, get in on the action. Okay, so there we go, we died. Try again. So I'm gonna see if I can... Kill him. Kill him. Grab the shotgun. And as long as we stay in that room, they keep spawning. And even if we're not in the room, they keep spawning. Okay, so we're out of that room which is rare for me. Now we have to get past these four sentries who sometimes will instantly kill me, sometimes not. I have to run into this room but there's these two guys. So I have to time all this perfectly so I don't instantly die because the reaction time for all of these enemies is zero frames. They will instantly react. There's no reaction time, which is just maddening. Okay, here we go, ready? Three, two, come on. Ugh. And then the process starts over. So I'm gonna try to rush out of this room without dying. Okay, I use my poison darts. I gotta pick up a pistol. Can't see what I'm shooting at, but I have to shoot at it anyways. And we're still spawning. Okay, so I'm out of ammo. And I still have to clear that room. I do have poison darts with this character, but... <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go for stealth kills. That's one. That's two. Awesome. So I picked up a silenced pistol. Now I have five more enemies to deal with. And then I have two more enemies and turrets and... Ah! This is just... This isn't... This level isn't the worst I've come across. I'll say that outright. If you feel like I'm overreacting, this isn't the worst level in the game. This is just an accumulation of my rage just kind of pouring into one level. There are levels earlier that have floors that just fold away and you fall into them and instantly die and fail the mission and there's nothing marking them. There's no X's, there's no lines around them. The floor is in a different color. The only way you can possibly find out there's a hole in the floor is by walking over the hole in the floor. So, I will say the targeting system in this game is nice because if you look I can toggle between the different targets. It makes the game a little bit more playable. So I'm going to go over here. Oh, well I hit that guy. Collateral damage. Got that guy. Got that guy. This bit's not too hard. Just have to get your timing right so that they don't get you. And... Got him. So all these guys are clear. Now, tell me how this is possible. Those two guys there... Okay, so the one on the left can shoot into the cover for the one on the right. The one on the right can shoot into the cover for the one on the left. There are sentry guns in the back, so... That are just gonna be just non-stop hailstorm of fire. I have no conceivable idea how this is possible. This is borderline idiotic. I'm gonna grab a faster firing gun. Move forward carefully. See if I can get a better view. I think I just. Ah! <sighs> also, this music is just awful. Just so bad. Let me move! Uh, 
and the AI for the player two is sometimes perfect, sometimes just... Uh, move out of my... What, what are you... Whatever. Here. Cool. Can't walk past. Spill spawning enemies. And we're dead. Do you see what I mean? This is just really poorly designed level. Because I can't see what's coming. I can't get out of the way. There's not a good safe spot. And I keep getting hung up on my teammate. This feels like it really needed a lot more play testing. And I really want to finish this game today because the division comes out tomorrow and as soon as the division comes out I'm gonna lose all interest in anything not division for the next month. But this is just getting so old playing this awful game. See, like, how am I even supposed to get... Because if I hold left bumper, then my, um, my other person follows me around, which is nice. But how am I supposed to fit my other person into that tiny little closet and return fire and not get shot and not get in the way of the sentries? This, it's, it's functionally ridiculous. Okay, so I'm just going to push him through. See, he shot as soon as he came on screen. I didn't have any time to react. I know I'm getting pretty nitpicky here, but this game is just terrible. And my AI doesn't turn around. And, uh... And he didn't get out of my way, even though I was pushing on him, because I don't know why. <sighs> Come on. I'm not even in the room. Uh, I don't want to play this game anymore. I've been on this level for so long. Uh. You know how they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and getting expecting different results? That's how I'm feeling here. I'm feeling insane playing this. I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm just gonna die, I guess. We're just gonna die. Now, I have a question for everyone who's watching this. Um, have you ever heard of this game before? Because I already know your answer. The answer is absolutely not. This game doesn't exist, pretty much. I tried doing research on this game. There's nothing on it. This game is nowhere to be found anywhere. Like, if you Google Reagan Gorbachev, uh, it doesn't appear on the first page of Google results. Only the real events of Ronald Reagan and I don't know what his first name is, Gorbachev, appear on the results. As they should. This game does not deserve the Google results, but see there? I just had to blind fire to hit that guy because I don't know where he was. There. No more bullets. And now I have to pull off this next section, gun free, because if I go back I'll spawn another wave of enemies. And I'm out of bullets because I had to blind fire. But no matter, I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, so we're back to here. A little bit harder because I don't have a silenced gun, so they're all going to know I'm here, but so be it. Ah! Ah! I know on this channel you're not used to seeing, you know, hearing more so me get frustrated and angry because I do what I like doing. I like doing Project Spark. I like playing games I enjoy. I like playing The Division and Call of Duty and 
AAA games that, you know, had a lot more thought and effort put into them. And this is not one of those games. Like, I understand indie games aren't going to be as well polished or to the scale of AAA games. I don't have a problem with that. I have some indie games that I love. And, I mean... But they had more effort put into them. See, right there, I, I don't know if you saw, but I just kind of ran into an invisible wall. This, this game has a weird mechanic that when you're holding stuff, it's part of your hitbox. See, I'm not moving my joystick. Watch. I'm not going to move my left joystick, which makes me walk. I'm just going to rotate while I'm holding this pistol. And I move all over the place. It's a really weird mechanic. Huh, those two are, for whatever reason, grouped up on each other. Let's try to go quick here. Eh, whatever. I'm not the best with ammo conservation in this game sometimes, mostly because I just want them to die. Okay, there we go. Whatever. Now watch, and uh, no, this guy's not doing it. Sometimes the enemies will track your position even through walls. That's so f What even killed me? What even killed me? Did you see what killed me? I didn't see what killed me. I have a new theory. I'm gonna have a theory that there's a fixed number of waves that spawn in this room, and I have to kill them all, and then I can advance. Not to say that's easy, but it might be doable. Pick up your darts, old man. Okay, now we're gonna see if any further enemies spawn. I don't think so. That might have been it. Okay, so maybe I was pushing myself a little bit too hard in this room. But still... I... Uh, doesn't make this next section any more fun or interesting. And here we go. Stealth kill, stealth kill. See, I'm getting remarkably good at a bad game. Well, I'd like to think I'm getting good at a bad game. Why do you throw two darts at a target you've already hit? pick up a gun. Both of my guys have guns, and it doesn't matter. <sighs> ah, man! This is driving me crazy! I feel bad for my roommate because it's late at night, and I know I'm being kind of loud sometimes, but... I'm out. Okay, I think we got him. So now we'll look at advancing. Wait until he walks past the door. Mad dash. Stealth hit. Stealth hit. Oh my gosh, I hate this game so bad! This game is so frustrating! Like, I love hard puzzle games, no question. Hard puzzle games are some of my favorite games ever. I love Portal, which, eh, that one's debatable on how hard it is. I love Talos Principle, that one's pretty tough. There's a, a lot of mobile puzzle games that I really enjoy that are pretty tough. Um... 
this doesn't feel like a hard puzzle game. It feels like a game designed to annoy you and to beat you rather than to be a puzzle game per se. It's hard to describe. It's not an action game. It's not a puzzle game because there's too much going on that's out of your control for it to be a puzzle game. Like, like, one example, and this was on an earlier level. Oh, that's fun. That time the, um... The... The, the sentries noticed me, so that alerted the guys in this room. That's fun. But there was a level earlier that I had to have a silenced pistol to win, and so I had to spawn in, check to see if the nearby enemies had a silenced pistol. If they didn't, I just had to restart the level. Because beating the level without a silenced pistol was suicide. There's no other way to say it. It was just suicide. Okay. Oh my gosh, just die. Now, I'm just... I don't even know what to do here. I genuinely don't know what to do. I've also done enough research to know there aren't any walkthroughs that exist for this game. This game is so obscure. Let's grab that gun. Okay. Gosh. I want to make a mad dash into this room and try to kill that guy on the right and then just keep moving and see if I can kill the guy on the left. I don't know if it's possible, but I can't think of anything else I can try. So here we go. Ah, oh, there's sentries. And I think I have to break those node things in the background that are taking a lot of bullets. A lot of bullets. Like, seriously, what, what am I, there's sentries, I can't walk across this electrified barrier, or else the sentries will get me, 100% the sentries will get me. What do I have to do? I'm gonna run back to grab another gun. I think I'm gonna stop recording and just go to bed. This, this is unreasonable. This is enraging. This is idiotic to a degree that I'm getting sick of. This game's terrible. If you've never heard of it, go along your merry way because you don't need to hear about it. And if you have heard about it and you're considering spending, what, $10? Go buy a Subway sandwich instead. You'll enjoy it more.